My name is Patty Vanderpool and I am CEO and owner of EAP, Lifestyle Management. We contract with employers to provide mental health services for their employees and also to provide advice for management when they're having issues with their employees. A recurrent issue that I see both as an employer and as somebody who serves other companies, prob uh, probably the the best advice maybe would center on fostering in our children a sense of personal accountability. I think by the time our children reach high school that we've protected them from some of the natural consequences of their world. Our parenting has certainly changed and I think that's reflected in the workplace environment, especially in the ability to relate well to other people. You know, when I do on-site training for companies, I will mention to my audience that the number one reason people leave a company of their own volition is because of problems with workplace relationships. It's not to get more money, it's not for a bigger office, but it's because they can't get along with other people. I'm seeing a trend where workers lack effective communication skills, both written and the spoken word, by the way. I think writing is still very important, so to prepare our students for the real world, I think we need to make sure that we work on their basic writing skills. Above and beyond that, any employer seems to be or is looking for an employer who can accept responsibility and who is autonomous. I think in protecting our children from some of the natural consequences that we've enhanced this sense of entitlement. You know, it's kind of a, a poor baby kind of thing. I'll, I'll jump in and I will rescue as, you know, I think it's been referred to as helicopter parents. I think as parents we meant well to you know, give our children a better world to live in, but I think in, in so doing we've rescued them and, and the lack of basic skills transfers over to the workplace. I also think some of the best advice for parents would be to make sure your child has good manners. We're seeing things like I heard a story from one employer who did an interview. He was looking for uh, an engineer to hire. Nice paying position, great entry level job. The guy came in for an interview with his lunch from McDonald's. Not dressed appropriately either, by the way. So if you want, I think we just have to somehow get back to the basics. A lot of workplace issues in my experience, including, you know, we've all heard about harassment. Uh, workplace violence is a big issue. I strongly believe that this goes right back to the family. I think we've had the breakdown of the family in America and lack of discipline, which again is that lack of accountability. So your child must be accountable for their actions. I also think it's very difficult for parents, particularly single parents, particularly single mothers, to to use effective discipline. I think we're meant to be nurturers, but we still need to discipline our children. Uh, and a lot of that, again, is don't rescue them. I actually have had management from companies tell me that parents of employees have called the workplace wanting to know why their child was disciplined at work. And again, I think a sense of responsibility and going one step further, the best employee, regardless of your profession, is going to be the employee that can provide solutions, not be a problem. So not my job is not acceptable. I don't get paid to do that. It's not acceptable. There is no way to move forward. I, I don't think there's any chance for professional mobility until we learn to go just a step further. 
and where work-life balance, you know, that was a big buzzword, still is somewhat of a, a buzzword. You know, it's important to have work-life balance, and I agree, it certainly is. And then we can go back to the manners. That doesn't mean that when you go in for an interview, you say, I have to have off for my birthday. Uh, I recently interviewed a high schooler for a part-time position. I was very excited about having her here, but she made it very clear in the initial interview she didn't want to work during spring break. So we didn't call her back. So back to the ethics, maybe basic ethics that America was built on. Strong family, strong values, follow through on your promises, take that extra step, and let's work on the sense of entitlement. You get what you work for. It is not owed to you. I think that's what we're seeing in the, in the workplace.